All right, let's get warmed up. Circle the arms out. Good, big arm circles, getting the shoulder joint warmed up. We're gonna be punching a lot in this workout. Go the other way. Bring it forward. So I really want you to think about lots of rotation, twisting, reaching, take it side to side, loosening up through that back. Think of reaching those movements. So all the way out. We got a quick warm up. So if you need a longer warm up, please take one. Over to the side. So think core the whole time you're doing this workout. That's what boxing is great for, is working that core. Now bring the hip. Letting that heel come up. So think loose to the floor with the feet. We're going to go into our first combination. Give me a little bob and weave. Down to the legs. Keep the core tight always. So you can use this first combination as an extension of your warm up if you need that. Good. Now round release the back. This is the last part of the warm up. Rounding, releasing. So especially if you're working out really early in the morning, feeling a little stiff, make sure you go through a longer warm up. And bring it all the way up. All right, let's learn our first combination. Hands up, staggered stance, back heel up. You always want those feet loose to the floor. You're not grounded into the floor. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Slip back, slip forward. Are you ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Reach those punches. Come on, reach, 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 reach. Especially that cross, that back arm. Reach. So you're getting that twisting in there. Use your legs on that slip. Down. We'll bob and weave. Pull that punch back to your face. So my front toes pointed toward you. My back toe is pointed outward. So think about 45 degrees. Almost there. And time. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. Same thing, staggered stance, back heels up and go. One, two, three, four. Slip back, slip front. So get the movement down first, and then add speed. Now punch like you mean it. None of this business, okay? Don't doggy paddle, okay? Extend the punches. So you're using those lats, the, the lats, the rotator cuff, don't just keep it in the front of the shoulder. Really use the torso to punch. That's where the core comes in. So hitting with the first two knuckles, come on. You only have 10 seconds left. And then we'll move on. How you feeling? And time. Okay, next combination. Squat, so you center your weight up, come down, one, two, three, four, jump, all right, or stand up. You don't have to jump, you can go up on the toes and go. So you don't wanna land on a straight leg. Decelerate, get down into this squat, land gently, control the landing. That way you use the muscles, not the joints. Absorb the impact in the muscles. 
You're about 30 seconds in. 30 seconds to go. Tight here. Come on, reach, 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 reach. Give me those reaches. Don't keep it here unless you're resting. Just make sure you're honest about that. 10 seconds. And time. Nice job. How you feeling? Are you warmed up? Should be getting warm. Next combination, jab slip, upper cross. Jab slip, upper cross. Jab slip, upper cross. Ready, go. Jab slip, cross. So like I said, your feet, reach, reach, upper, cross. See how my hip turns, how my toe is down, I'm pivoting on that foot. So you can always go slower. Get your form down, 30 seconds in, okay? Jab, cross, upper, cross. Bring the hands right back to the face. Always in that pyramid position. You don't want to drop your hands down here, right? Great. One more. <laughs> I started thinking ahead. Okay, we got to do that on the other side. You're doing great. You are. And go. Jab, cross, upper, cross. Jab, cross, upper, cross. Jab, cross, upper, cross. Remember, right back to the face. Bent knees, tight core, reaching those punches. Don't keep your feet planted. If you were in a fight, hopefully you never are. <laughs> if you were in a fight, you wouldn't want to be glued to the floor. You'd want to be able to get out of the way quickly, right? You got 20 seconds. Remember, reach that punch. Never snap into a lock. Going about 95% pulling it right back. Five seconds. And time. Nice. All right. Next movement. So lunge, punch, punch. Lunge, punch, punch. You ready? And go. Step back, punch, punch. Step back. Keep this knee over the heel. You can stay down on the legs if you need to come up and go slower. Feel free. Doesn't matter what arm is starting that punch. Just get both of them in there. So you could even jump it. Yeah. You're almost there. You've got it. Get down on the legs. Work those legs. If you feel wobbly, take your time. No rush. No rush at all, okay? It's up to you to make this bigger. Challenge yourself. I see this all the time in my live classes. People will make it small, and then you're like, oh, that class wasn't that hard. Rest. You've got to challenge yourself, okay? Take some responsibility. Okay, I sound like my father. Okay. <laughs> Next move, hook, cross, up, hook, cross, up, ready, three, two, one, hook, cross, up, now I, I was trained to breathe loudly, um, <laughs> You don't have to breathe that loud, but do use the breath to help you with your power, okay? 
It's hard for me not to do it. So hook, cross, up, hook, cross, up. Exaggerate, hook, cross, up. You're almost there. You are almost there. Can you go a little faster? Can you put a little more power in your punches? Yes, you can. Three, two, one. We're going the other way. Front hook, back cross, front uppercut. Okay, side of the head, right into the face, under the chin. Three, two, one. Hook, cross, up. Hook, cross, up. Remember, it's not just about speed. You gotta have good form, too. I'm gonna knock this thing off my head. I'm determined. Hook, cross, up. So don't... Okay. If you're learning boxing for the first time, it's okay. It is okay. Work on your form. Hook, cross, up. Use your core. Use your hips. Tighten your abs. See, I always bring my hand back to my face. I started punching myself in the face. You're almost there. Yes, yes. Great job. Come on, the last 10 seconds. And time. How are you doing? You feeling okay? Yeah. Moving on. This one's easy. Not a lot of thinking that has to go on. Keeping it just in jabs and crosses. So I'm gonna go jab, lean back. One, two, three. Jab, lean back. One, two, three. You ready? And go. Jab, back. One, two, three. You hit them, they hit back. You get out of the way, and then you bop them, okay? Reach that cross, okay? So you're tight here as you lean back, protecting your core. Three, two, one. We got the other side. You may find you're more coordinated on one side than the other. That's normal. But we're working both sides just to maintain balance. So jab, lean back. One, two, three. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. Here we go. Now turn on that cross. Don't make it a throwaway move. It's called power punch for a reason. Because you have the power of your hip behind it. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I threw an extra punch. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you mess up. Who cares? Like I said, we're not trying to be perfect here. We're not getting graded. If you're one of those people that, and I was this for many years, everything has to be perfect. Or I'm a failure. You're more likely to give up. Three, two, one. Yeah. Don't strive for perfection. Okay? Just strive to be better than you were yesterday. That goes for anything in life, all right? I know, words of wisdom from Laura. Okay, moving on. So, double jab, cross, front hook, cross. You ready? And go. Double jab, cross, front hook, cross. Lots of turning. 
Come on, you've got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a case for the yeah, yes. Boom, 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 boom. boom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, almost there. Oh, boom. <laughs> One more. Nice. Okay. Other way. Loosey goosey. Double jab, cross, hook, cross. Double jab, cross, hook, cross. Three, two, one. Double jab, cross. Feet. Remember, deliberate on every punch. Yeah. Yeah, keep it tight. It's my motto in life. Now see if you can add more speed as long as you don't lose your form. <laughs> Takes thought, doesn't it? I gotta keep fixing this thing. One more. Nice. I'm going to have to edit out about 47 nices. Huh? That's my word today. Okay. Neutral stance. So you're not in that staggered stance. We got a hook, hook, upper, upper. One, two, three, four. Okay. It doesn't matter which side you start with. Hook, hook, upper, upper. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one. Hook, hook. Upper, upper. One, two, three, four. On that epic uppercut, make sure that punch is going away from you and your elbows aren't going back here. You keep them tight to your body, protecting your ribs. Okay? Hook, hook the hips go with you, and then you come down to come up. So you have the power of the legs behind you. See if you can put more power in there. Oh, I did extra. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Sorry for the sound effects. Awesome. How are you feeling? Take a little water break, get a little sip. We're going to move on. So, uppercut, hook, bump, bump. Uppercut, hook, double jab. All right, you ready? And time. Uppercut, hook, boom, boom. Uppercut, hook, boom, boom. Pivot the foot. You're not leaning, okay? There is power behind it though with that hip pivot. Come on, side of the head. 
And if you don't want to imagine hitting a person, I get it. I'm a peace lover. Just make sure you think of power when you're hitting, okay? One more. Okay, switch sides. Uppercut hook, double jab. Three, two, one. Uppercut hook. So get the movement down. Kind of let your body learn that movement. And then start to add power and speed to it. Because you still have another 45 seconds to do it. Don't make those jabs a throwaway move. Reach, reach, but pull back. Like quick. Like a snake striking. <laughs> easy on the shoulder, okay? It's very easy to just jam into the shoulder. Use the body. 10 seconds. One more. Time. How you feeling? All right, we're coming into the hit portion of the program. So first one, knee up, jack, knee up, jack. You ready? Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Make it big. You can always tap that foot out instead of jacking if you want. You got it. Get that knee up. Use your core. Lifting that knee above the hip line is going to activate the core muscles a little bit more. Touch your fingertips at the top. Three, two, one. Okay, you had a little extra credit there. I know. So typical. So typical. There you go. You have eight. Oh, you have eight more. You have eight more. Forward, back, out, in. Ready? Go. Forward, back, out, in. Forward, back, out, in. Can you go slower? No. Yes, you can. You can. You can go slower. Just make it bigger. You can make it bigger. Still get your heart rate up that way if you don't want to do quick. Let your heels touch. You're going to feel your calves. It's not a bad thing. Calves are an endurance muscle. And time. Okay, next one. We'll come back to that one. We'll come back to all of them. Is kicks. I'm going to show you first. So you can do a hitch knee. Okay. Or a jump kick. You don't want to jump. Step kick. All right. I'm going to start with a hitch knee for 15 seconds and switch. Three, two, one. One, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get the knee up. You could do this the whole time. Land softly. Not landing on a straight leg. Bend the knee. Okay, kick if you want. Point that toe. Keep it tight, okay? The movement and your core. 10 seconds. Time. We got the other way. We got the other way. Then we're gonna go back down. For start with the hitch knee first. Knee, knee. You ready? Three, two, go. Knee. You could do the kick the whole time if you want. You got it in you for 30 seconds, you go for it. Remember this? You could do that. Now, kick if you want. Remember, land on a bent knee. Please don't land on a locked out knee. Don't do that. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay. So whatever leg you started on, 
forward, back, out, in. You start on the other leg. For me, that's my left. It could be your right. Doesn't matter as long as you're just leading on the other leg. Three, two, go. Forward, back, out, in. A little agility. Remember, only 30 seconds. You've got this. Quick. Or slow but bigger. Right? And tap dancing. Five seconds. I need some tap shoes. And time. One more. One more. You've got it. It's the knee, jack, knee, jack. That's what this is. I didn't realize I was so much of a gesture person. Three, two, one. This is the last one. All the way up. Halfway. Get the knee up. Crunch in. Come on, don't give up. If you're starting to fade, make it bigger. Three, two, one. Nice. Awesome job. See, there was the nice again. You ready to cool down? If not, you go, you. Do a little more. Side to side. Bring the heart rate back down. Big inhale. You did awesome. You really did. I hope you pushed yourself. I hope you had fun. That's important. It's important to have fun when you're moving. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing if you're not already. Leave comments. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I'd love to give you more workouts that you would love to do, whether they're cardio, strength, whatever. Let me know what you're looking for. All right? Have a great day. I'll see you next time.